there's a time, there's a place, there's packages. We have arrived to that time. For a limited run, we are on a journey together. It's unboxing time! Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Switch Report. Sorry it's been a while since I uploaded. Been super sick and mega busy with schools. And I also have been uh, getting ready to move. So lots and lots of stuff has been happening behind the scenes. Sorry I haven't been more vocal about it. But uh, we will get back into the swing of things probably within the next week or two. Um, I should be moving pretty soon and school is over in about one week and then I'll go transfer into my summer courses. But with that being said, guys, I received a package today and you know what that means. It's time to unbox some stuff. All right, guys, so I received this package from Limited Run Games today. Now, I also received some other stuff because I ordered some clothing for a game called Celeste. And uh, sorry if I sound weird, guys, I'm still recovering from being sick. But we're going to unbox this bad boy together. And I don't know what game it is. Uh, I did break the seal, but uh, I'm not entirely sure which game it is because I've had quite a few limited run games that have been coming in recently. So what we're going to go ahead and do is... Uh, Pop that top on that convertible box. Bam! And we have uncovered the wonderful, the beautiful Iconoclast. All right. So, I ordered the collector's edition of Iconoclast, which if you never played it, is a game that is actually only made by one guy and it's a Metroidvania style platformer slash hack and slash, I guess is what you would call it. it has very fast paced action whenever you get into it. And it's a lot, a lot of fun. And if you haven't played it, you should definitely check it out because it's a lot of fun. But maybe you want this nice old collector's edition because it's not too expensive online still. It hasn't like shot up in price or anything yet. So we're gonna open this. And uh, then I also wanted to show you, we got this nice, beautiful little card right here. It's got a, uh, it's got characters on it. It's got characters, all right. So, here is the box. It looks styled into a Super Nintendo style box. Um, it has that good old, those yellow dots with the little purple uh, Super Nintendo font, or not font, but accent to it with that lavender purple. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our knifey knife pokey poke, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, find an entry point. Let's see, where should we attack from, guys? Ah, there it is, right there. Right where this purple is, that's where we're gonna attack from. So we're gonna take the knife, just gently slide it in there. Woo! Oh, and we broke that seal. That seal is now broken. We just dropped the price of our car by 20%. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wah, wah. Take that, slide that bad boy off of here, woo! All right, so now we are now pure unprotected box action. So it says on the front here, defy the evil one, concern, and become a mechanic you were born to be. The mechanic you were born to be. I cannot speak the English. I can only speak the Mandalorians. All right, so it looks like from there you have the, uh, the developer, Cognac Studios, and then you get a description on the back of the box. It says, use your giant wrench to crush machines and help those in need. Robin just wants to be a mechanic and help people. But without a license, she's a sinner in mother's eyes. Ever since picking up her wrench, the world has been going nuts, and she wanted to bolt it back together. Now, penance is raining down on everyone she loves, and one concern gets agents are after her. All right. So, we are going to go ahead and try to uh, pop this bad boy open without denting that box too much. It's always so hard for me to open these little... These little guys without uh, causing any damage. Boom, it looks like we did it that one time. Woo! All right. So first thing that slides out, 
is the game. The game inside of a box. The game inside of a box. All right, so that is uh, some goodies. Looks like, um, ooh, looks like there's some goodies inside of there. We're about to open that bad boy together, but real quick, we're gonna see what the rest of the stuff inside of this box is. Just so you guys know, um, I think I paid around 70 or 80 dollars for this. It's not terribly expensive, so if it comes with enough stuff, it's probably well worth it. So now we get the little white slip right here. Woo! Slide that bad boy out. Then we have a poster right here. And let's see how big this poster is. See if I can uh, give you an idea of what it is. I can see on the back, it's got like every sprite that the guy used inside of this game. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this, guys, but this game is made by one person. It took him like seven years. I think that's this game. I'm pretty sure that's this game. If it's not, I'll correct myself in editing. But I'm pretty sure that this game took like one guy like seven years. And uh, he did a lot of work, and uh, there's a lot of really amazing animation inside of here. And then you get uh, the main character, Robin, right there. It's a really nice poster. I actually really like that. I may hang that up when I move. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, so you get a nice big old poster like that. Then, inside of the rest of this box is something that wants to be a pain. Oh, it's a soundtrack, baby. That's a heavy soundtrack, my goodness. All right, guys, so you know the deal. As always, every time there's a soundtrack, I will rip the disc to my computer right here, and then I will be playing that music throughout the video. All right, so what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and I'm just kidding, guys. I don't want to scratch. I don't want to scratch plastic like I did last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, I'm gonna go in here and be a little uh, a little more gentle. I'm actually gonna get right where the, the little the little H seam is. Woo! Don't stab myself. Don't play with knives, kids. All right. Bam. There we go. Ah, iconoclast. So we got that beautiful little. Uh, that's a. It's a very simple like frontal work, but I actually really like that. I prefer like these really simple looking covers to like some crazy, super complicated piece being on the front of there. So, looks like it is a whopping two discs. So that's pretty cool stuff. Must have lots and lots of music. I've not beaten this game. I actually have waited for this physical copy because I'm gonna beat it that way. Um, but, if you see here, there's 26 tracks on the first CD, and then 25 tracks on the second CD. So there is a lot of music there. I'm gonna assume there's probably, probably two or three hours worth of music there, if not more. But yeah, guys, that is some cool stuff. Like I said, Disco One and a Disco Two. Nothing, uh, nothing, no like inside art, which is a little disappointing, but is what it is. Still looks cool. I still love that box there. That little cloud right there almost looks like a broken Death Star. But, uh, you know, that's that copyright. Alright, so, anything else inside of this box? No, guys, this box is totally empty now. We have gotten everything, so that means time to enter the main jewel. The one, the only, the stab, the iconoclast, the box. Let's do this. Woo! Ah, I slide that bad boy right around there. Whoa! Ah. Oh. oh yeah. And then, oh, oh yeah. All right, guys. So I've unwrapped that. The box looks all beautiful and wonderful and limited run and says uh. Limited run number 25 right there. And we open it up. We actually get something that's very similar. Actually, I think that is exactly. No, it's not exactly, but it's very similar to the uh, to the poster that we got, like the inside of it. Actually, I think that this portion is the poster, now that I think about it. I think this is the poster. 
right here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, even if you manage just to get a standard version, you still get this cool little, this technically reversible artwork. Um, I like it. Um, I would flip to it if it wouldn't ruin the continuity of uh, my, uh, my Switch collection, because I like them all to have red spines. Uh, thank you, Labo and uh, Darksiders. But, yeah, so that is the inside there, and then you have that cartridge. It's looking all beautiful. See if I can get it to sync up right there. Ooh, yeah. What do we have on that cartridge? I can't even see. I'm like too blind. Oh, it's birds. I believe that's birds there. If you guys can see that better than me, I'm like partially blind. Uh, yeah, I think that's birds. Um, pretty nice cartridge. Very simplistic. Uh, I do kind of wish that the, like, I guess they couldn't have made the, the, the size of the font too much bigger, but there's a lot of dead space there. Um, I wish that it just had like a slightly bigger font because uh, it makes the cartridge kind of like bland to look at a little bit, but is what it is. There is that and then we get a manual guys. Now this is something that I love about limited run games is pretty much I think all of them have come with a manual so far and that is amazing to me. Um, I, I miss manuals a lot so I think that this is just amazing i'll pay like the extra ten dollars just to get like a freaking manual because i'm insane but yeah we have uh oh yeah yeah actually I, you see it right there this game is totally made by one guy uh game by joaquin sandberg so uh that actually answers my question i won't have to edit that in thank god um, but yeah, this manual goes through a whole, uh, yeah, the table of contents, an introduction to the story. Uh, you got Robin, which, and it's Robin, Royal, Elro, Mina, different characters that are within the game. You get like, uh, where they're from, uh, their age, and then you get a little bit of backstory. And uh, I'm just going to quickly read Robin's backstory real quick. It says, Robin, age 17, from Settlement 17, she likes nuts. All right, so that's all we need to learn. And uh, then we go over to page four, and we get more cast, and it has more information about each one of these sprite works and characters. Then you have a control section. Uh, you get a little thing discussing different uh, items that are within the game world that are spread out through there. Um, Come on, fat fingers. All right, then you get tweaks, which is uh, kind of like, they're, they're your upgrades and kind of special abilities that your character uses. Um, learning how to load game, new game, boss rush settings. Um, strange notes, this is, this is odd. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, that has something to do with the game and I'm gonna figure that out. Oh, and then a note section, baby! That's my favorite! I gotta scribble all my notes! Gotta draw my box boy in there. Alright. And then uh, we get thanks. Thanks for your support by purchasing Iconic by purchasing and playing Iconoclasts. It's been a long and arduous path getting this game finished, but it eventually got there, despite everything. See you next time. So yeah. That is really cool. I really like, I just love the style of this game. If you've ever seen the animations that are inside of this game, it's pretty amazing, guys. Like, what this one guy managed to do with the style and artwork inside of this game is like, better than most AAA games that I see. I mean, he just managed to pull off this great sense of style and a, like subtle animation that adds to the personality of each of these characters. And I mean, I'll play like a little snippet of one of the trailers, like right there, and like just, it's, it's amazing that one guy did this whole game, guys. Like amazing. I haven't played this game, but maybe for three or four hours, um, but it is, it is amazing. From what I hear, I think the game's right around 15 to 20-ish hours, which is, I mean, that, that's pretty incredible when you think about it, considering one guy made all the assets for the game. But with that being said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take all this stuff and we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom out.
and uh, you'll see a transition over to that. I'll get all this stuff organized, and then uh, I'll show you uh, all the stuff laid out on the table. So uh, see you in just a second. Alrighty everyone, so I laid everything out that came inside of this collector's edition and I mean it's not the most beefy collector's edition I've ever seen. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this was only like uh, like 60 or 70 dollars. Um, it may have been 80, but even at that point, I mean, we did also get a soundtrack that's two discs, which that's a lot of music guys. And trust me, the music in this game is really, really cool. And then, wow, I just realized even even the uh, the developer, the one guy that made it, actually also made all the music. That is incredible. Like that is talent right there. That is pretty amazing. But yeah, so um, this is all the stuff has a nice, beautiful box. I love this box. Like this is probably gonna sit in like the front of my Switch collection. Like whenever I move, I'm putting up a couple of shelves inside of the room to display the different collector's editions I have for the Switch, and you guys will see that in those videos. Um, the room is a little barren right now, which is why I haven't been showing the room, uh, like where I'm sitting in my chair and then everything's on the wall. Um, I'm actually working on doing a lot more at the new location for filming, but yeah. So this looks really cool, guys. I think that this is more than enough for the 70, 80 bucks. I mean, most $60 games don't even have a manual. So if I just took this case, sat it over there, you're paying an extra $20 to get all this. And that is good enough for me. I mean, I don't need like everything. In, Cause, cause the way I look at it is if they add more things to the, the more stuff they add to a collector's edition that's at a lower price point than most, um, the cheaper quality of the things are going to be made. And I mean, there is some serious work that, that was put into, into like this stuff. Like this being two discs long, that's a ton of music. Uh, this is a gorgeous poster. I will put this poster up, uh, which I don't do with a lot of posters. So this will actually be the second poster that I have, that I will have ever put up on the wall here. But, but yeah, guys, so this is all really neat and uh, I think it's super awesome. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you're gonna see about checking this game out, if that little footage that I played up in the top left there, fit your fancy, tickled your pickle, all that good stuff. Let me know and uh, <laughs> leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you like content like this, I try to upload it as frequently as possible. And uh, I love you guys. Thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you next time. Switch Report, out.